Hi everybody, it's me, Mel the Obsessive Cross Stitcher. How are you? Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I recorded. Um, oh, a few weeks I guess now since I've recorded. Because um, I haven't been feeling too good. You know, I just, I'm recovering from my surgery and whatnot. But I'm feeling better. I'm getting better. Um, today is October the 4th. 2017 it's a Wednesday and like I said I guess I haven't um I haven't recorded in a while in about about four weeks maybe four or five weeks maybe I guess it's been since I recorded um maybe maybe not that long maybe not that long but I'd like to welcome everybody back thanks for watching and thanks for everybody that has already subscribed to my channel already um those that watch those that comment um I appreciate everybody thank you so much um, I do tend to wonder sometimes if maybe, um, there's something that you guys might want me to do different. Um, I don't have as many subscribers as some other people have, um, that have been doing this, you know, for a lot less time than I've been doing. So I don't know if there's something that you guys would like to see me do or not do. Send, put a comment, you know, down below and let me know, um, what you guys would like to see different. Um, I'm going to talk about a few things today. It won't be real, real long, but to talk about a few things. Um, my health update, uh, I've been home from the hospital now for about three, four weeks. Uh, surgery was four and a half weeks ago. Um, uh, for, and I actually ended up having a double hernia instead of just a single hernia. So they had to um, give me extra anesthesia to stay under longer. And when they had to wake me up, they couldn't wake me up. So they had to pound on my chest. Hence this here because they think they may have, um, that I may have a hairline fracture in my, um, in my collarbone. So um, they didn't see a break, but they said that there's, that there's a very, you know, possibly there's a very good possibility that there might be a tiny hairline fracture. So they've got me in this arm sling. Um, it, it hinders me from stitching a little bit, but I can still move my arm and, and you know, hold hold my, my, um, my Q-snaps and stitch. So, um, my camera keeps moving here. There we go. Let me try something else here. Let me try and... One second. There, yeah, that's better. I put you on pause for just a second while I stabilize my my phone a little better anyway um i'm still on the walker um i don't know if i told you guys that before that, that the anesthesia plus um i think i had a bad batch or a bad dose of um morphine that they gave me in my iv it caused me to start walking real funny and um got real dizzy i'm still a little dizzy um, and they said it may take a little bit longer for the anesthesia to get out of my body since they had to give me so much more. So I'm still on a walker. Hopefully I'll be off of that pretty soon. Um, and my, like I said, my collarbone still hurts really bad. So I'm kind of, you know, just taking care of it and making sure that I, that I pay it. You know, I exercise my arm. I take it out of this and exercise it, you know, as often as I can so that it's, I don't get a stiff shoulder. I don't sleep with this on. Um. But other than that, I'm healing up. I went to the doctor today. I went to my surgeon today for a follow-up. And he said that my incisions are healing up pretty good. I got stitchy nose or something here. Floss tube nose. Floss, floss nose. Um, but um, he says I'm healing up really good. Uh, the incisions are healing up. He said I'm going to still be sore for a little while. Um, but I should be okay soon. I'm getting better. Um... And I see my pain management doctor on the 19th of this month, and I'll find out, I may find out then when they're going to do my, um, my back procedure, the trial implant, um, the trial neurostimulator implant, uh, for my back. And, um, hopefully I'll find out, um, And now that Dr. Floro, my, my surgeon, has pretty much um, released me, um, they, they should be able to tell me something pretty soon. I may wait a little bit longer because my stomach is still a little sore. Um, and I have to lay on my stomach for that procedure, so I may wait. 
until maybe November uh, to get that done. So, anyway, um, now on to better things, more fun things. I have some finishes. Yay! Um, I actually had three finishes in a in a week. Um, in one week, I got three finishes. I got three things done. Um, the first thing that I got done was my the, the dimensions. Um, home sweet home, and you see I've got the Colorado map there because we're moving to Colorado next year. I don't have the Missouri one there because we're leaving Missouri and going to Colorado. So that's finished. I'm going to put the, all of these are going to go in, in frames. Um, I just have to go pick the frames out and, um, and put these in frames. So there's that. Um, this one, and he's already seen it, even though he's getting it for his birthday, he's seen it already, but this is what, um, my son wanted to give to my fiance for his birthday when all else fails call dad and that's that that's done I'm gonna put this in a frame too I gotta find frames for all this stuff and then this one is also for my fiance he wanted this one done so I found the pattern for it and on one two three stitch and got it done for him and this is the don't tread on me flag the the Gadsden it's called the Gadsden flag don't tread on me had a lot of back stitching but I got it done so that was done like I said this is going to go into a frame as well when I get them when I get I have to get out and I, don't, I still don't get out as often as I'd like to yet because I'm still not feeling the greatest but um I'm going to go and see if I can like the Dollar Tree or something and see if I can find some frames uh, more than Michael's and see if I can find some frames for, for those, um, for those pieces. Um, I got some new starts. Uh, one of my new starts is this, it's the Dimensions kit, the foot, Footprints poem about Jesus when he carried, when he carried you on, when he, when he, when you didn't see his, your set of footprints when he carried you. So I've got that, and this is how far I've gotten on it. Let's see, move my needle minder out of the way. I've gotten all the wording done, and I've got a little bit of the of the sky done up here. I don't know if you can see that, but I've got a little bit of the sky done, or parts of the parts of the the sky or whatever that is up there. I don't know what that is. It looks like it's part of sky. Yeah. And then there's some more birds and stuff that go over here and some more stuff that comes down here that I got to do. But I got that going. And, um, well, hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, one of my other new starts and, um, I finally think I've gotten the hang of stitching on two over two on 28 count. Lugana. Um, thanks to Vana. Thanks, Vana. Hi, Vana. Um, I don't know if she watches my channel or not, but she, um, came, found a, um, really nice video on stitching two over two on 28 count by Stitcherista. And I looked at that and that helped. And then also, um, from Soulful Stitchers or Soulful Stitching, um, Melanie Watkins also gave uh, did a video um, on stitching two over two on twenty eight count Lugana, and um, that helped me out really uh, a lot as well. So here's what I'm working on right now: Freedom House by Little House Needleworks. I don't know if you can see. That. Let me take it out of the package here so you can see it. There you go. Freedom House. And I'm doing this on 28 count wheat Lugana. And that's where I am so far. So I think I'm doing pretty good. I think I've got the hang of it. Whoops, let me get that out of the way. There we go. So 
So I think I've got the hang of it. I don't know what do you guys think. Tell me what you think. That's what I've gotten done so far. That's a new start. I actually did all that in about, that took me, that's about three days worth of work. Um, I started on it on Sunday and I've gotten this far. Today is Wednesday. I stitched on it just a very, I've only got like just this little bit done today. But all this other stuff I got done starting from Sunday on up to yesterday. So that's that. And the only whips that I really have, um, oh, I got another nail that I just broke. Um, only other whip that I have to show you right now is my, um, my Egyptian queen. Let me see if you can. Again, that's what she's going to look like when she's done. And I'm doing this one over one on uh, 18 count Ada Wren. And that's where I am so far with that. There you go. So those are the only things that I've done. I'm working. I'm getting ready to. Now that I've got three finishes done, I'm actually getting ready to start some stuff. Um, I can start some new stuff. I've, I've given myself permission to start some new stuff, and I'm excited. I get to start some new stuff. Um, but um, I wanted to go over. I got some stuff. Some some happy mail today. Um. Happy Mail, whatever you want to call it, you know, haul, um, got some good stuff. Uh, one of the things, some of the things that I got, I got this, I already had one of these, oops, I got stuff behind me that I'm trying to get to here, there we go. Um, I got one of these, um, from 123 Stitch and I loved it so much that I wanted to buy another one. And I love this little, this little nautical tote bag, I love this thing, I've got one that I keep, uh, whips in that I take with me when I go to doctor's appointments and stuff and I figured I'd just get one to carry as a regular purse because I just like it so much. It's got one little zipper zipper in here but it's it's huge. I mean you can see how big it is and it's you know it's got the bottom like that where you can get more stuff in it. You know where you can get a lot of stuff in it. So I bought another one of those while they still had them. Um, First one I got at one two three stitch was on sales like four that four bucks. This one was like eight. It went back up to eight dollars, but um, I got that one. I had to get another one. And uh, let's see, other stuff I got. Um, I got some new needle minders. I won't come off of here. Let's see. There we go. Okay, these are from Down Sunshine Lane. One is uh, Cross Stitch Queen, and the other one is I Run On Coffee and Cross Stitch. I don't know if you can see those, it's not focusing very well. There you go. Okay. And then, um, from Flying Frog Stitchery, I got these. One of them is on here already. Is my Starbucks, my Starbucks needle minder. I got that one, and then I got this wool because I love wool. You know, I collect wool stuff, as you know. I've told you before. I'm, I've got a a wool whip that I'm working on. So that's that one. And then they sent me this little, this little. I guess it's a. I can't tell if it's a cat or a dog. It looks like a little cat. And I'm not a cat person, but it's cute anyway. Um, this little cat looks like here. And she sent that to me complimentary for, I guess, ordering the other two needle minders. So there's those. And let's see, the rest of my haul. Um... Oh, and then I've got, uh, okay, I don't know if I showed this to you guys yet or not, but this is the new TARDIS I'm going to be working on for, for Nick. The other one was just way too big, and it was just too much to handle, so I'm going to wait till I get to Colorado, I think, to start working on that one again. So it's a UFO right now. 
but I'm gonna work on this one. This is a stained glass part, and it's not it's not quite as big, so I'm gonna start working on this one pretty soon. I got the fabric for it. It's, I've got a sixteen. It's a sixteen count, sixteen count Ada, like an ivory Ada. And I'm gonna work on that with that. Then today. I got some happy mail. This is another one. I do a lot of stuff for other people, but I'm doing this one for, for Nick also. He doesn't know yet, but this is... And he, if he watches this, he's going to find out. But I got this to work on for Nick. He's a guitar player. He can't play like he used to anymore since he had a stroke in 2011. Um, but he still practices. He's, he's, getting, he's, he's getting there. He's doing a lot better. But I got that all kitted up. There's the floss. There's a lot of floss. And I still got a few more um, a few more skeins of floss that I have to get for this. Uh, they were out. So that I have it. they're on back order. So they're coming in. So I got that coming in. And then I've got this. This is a um, 16 count ice blue Ada that I got from one. This is all this all came from one, two, three stitch. So I'm gonna be stitching that on 16 count ice blue Ada. So this one's all kitted up ready to go. I think I may start this one today. I don't know. I'm going to try and maybe get it done for Christmas. If I can. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. That's going to stay up there. And then I got this one for us. Oops. I'm dropping stuff here. I saw somebody else was doing this one. I can't remember who it was now. But I saw it and it just had to have it. And it's called Always You. And it says it was always you. And I didn't know that it came with embellishments, but it's got little little some little beads. I don't know if you can see that there, but some little beads that go with it. And I've never sewn beads before, so hopefully um I found a new um stitchy group here in St. Louis called St. Louis Stitchers. And somebody turned me on to them recently, and so they do have a couple of little get-together, little sitting stitches. And I'm going to go to one, if I can, if I feel up to it this weekend. There's one close by me um, that they're going to be doing this weekend. And I'm going to try and go, and maybe they can show me how to stitch uh, with these beads. I'm not sure, but hopefully somebody there will be uh, familiar with stitching with beads. And I've got this one all kitted up to go. It's only got... Uh, what, four or five skeins, five skeins of floss, and I'm stitching it on 28 count ice blue Lugana. So there's that. So it's all catered up and ready to go, too. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to start this one. This one's not for any particular time or anything. The other stuff I'm trying to get done is presents. For the people, I've got another. I've got some more stuff coming in from One Two Three Stitch. It didn't show up. It was supposed to show up today, but uh, somehow it didn't get shipped out with my bag. Um, when when my bag shipped out, um, so they hopefully said they're going to try and get it out for me um, on Friday, and I should have it sometime next week. And that's going to be one that's also it's a prayer connection. And when I when that comes in, that's going to be a present for a friend of mine, for uh, actually for my niece, for my uh, for my niece. But she's also my friend, but she's my niece too. Anyway, um, so that's that. I don't really have anything else to show um, or talk about. My son's doing good in school. Uh, I told you he start. I started. He ended up starting late because I had to go. To, you know, I was in the hospital. You know, and I was recovering. Um, so he ended up starting late, but he's catching up real quick. He's doing real good. Um, he does his work in about two or three hours, but he could usually do all day at a regular, you know, public school. He can get done now in a couple of three hours. So um, he likes that. He likes homeschooling because he can get done quicker. Um, with only him being the only student, doesn't take as long for him to do his work and, and for me to, you know, check his work and get him done and get him, you know, get him all finished up for the day. So. He likes that. He likes that so he can go back and start playing. He plays video games or whatever, or do whatever he's going to do, play with the dog or, or whatever else he does. So, um, my plans are to, like I said, get started on this one for, um, for Nick. 
for Christmas and um, finish working on this one. Finish working on this Freedom House. Um, and I've got a couple more that I'm going to be starting on now that I am feeling a little more comfortable stitching on 28 Count Lugana. I like it. I think I'm going to stick with 28 Count Lugana. I spoke with Stephanie over at Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. Um, and she was telling me that that's probably, you know, when, when people learn, I guess that's what they say, they learn on 25 or 28 count Lugana. Um, that's what a lot of people learn on. That's what I, I learned on. Um, and I like it. So I'll probably stick with it for a little while. Things that maybe they say, they, they say stitch on a higher fabric, higher count fabric. <clears throat> I may, um, I gotta have a drink. I may, um, whoops, losing my camera there. There we go. I may still... Put it on a uh, 28 count Lugana until I learn how to go any higher than that. My eyes, uh, I have to wear glasses. I have to wear bifocals. So I may not be able to stitch on anything higher than 28 count anyway um, without a magnifying glass. And my doctor, <laughs> my surgeon had an old pair of um, magnifying glasses. And he said that when he come, would come and visit me, you know, and see me in the hospital after he got done with my surgery... I would be in there stitching, and he said every time I, every time he sees those glasses, he thought about me and my stitching. So when I came in there today, he gave them to me, and they were really cool. I'll have to show them to you the next time that I um, next time I do a video, I'll show you, I'll show them to you, so you guys can see them. Um, but I thought that was very sweet of him to do that, uh, to give those to me, and um, I probably will be using them uh, if I do anything higher than a twenty-eight count. Or if my eyes get tired, um, you know, working on the 28 count, which it does. My eyes get tired working on the 28 count. I, I'm, I'm not able to stitch as long um, when I'm working on the on the 28 count because my eyes get tired and I have to stop. But um, <clears throat> but I'm getting there. Like I said, I like it. I like stitching on the 28 count. It's really, it's a lot of fun. I like the fabric. It's softer. Um, it's softer than Ada. You know, Ada is really stiff. Um, but I, you know, I'm I'm still not going to stop stitching on Ada. There are certain things I will continue to still stitch on Ada. Um, but um, after that, my go-to fabric is going to be the 28 count Lugana, um, and I'm going to be stitching on, you know, until I learn how to do anything higher than that. But um, anyway, um, that's about all I have for today. Thanks a lot for coming and, and viewing uh, my video today. Um, thanks to everybody that subscribes to me, to my channel. Um, I appreciate all of you guys. And again, leave me some comments if there's something that you think that um, you'd rather see me do or not do. You know, I, I, I like constructive criticism. Um, as long as it's constructive and not, you know, tearing people down. You know, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't care for people to tear you down. Um, but if it's constructive, you know, I'll, I'll listen. I like that. So, um, if you guys can give me some pointers on something that maybe you like that, that I should be doing better, that may help me get some more subscribers, you know, I'll do that. Um, I'm at, what, 23, 24 minutes now, and I don't really think that I have anything else that, um, that I need to talk about. So, again, thank you guys for, um for subscribing and, and for commenting and for hitting the like button. Um, and I'll see you guys. I'm not sure when I'll be back, but I'll um, hopefully see you guys in another week or so, a couple of weeks, once I get some more stuff and get a little farther on some of my um, some of my whips. So I'll talk to you guys soon. You guys have a blessed day. And if there's anybody that, needs any, that has any prayer requests, um, if you want to leave those the prayer requests in the comments, um, I'd be happy to pray for you. Uh, I, you know, I know there's another person, uh, that does, uh, she, she's, um, Vonda told me, I finally got me watching her and I really like her channel, uh, Coffee Cross Stitch and Jesus, I think something like that, Co Jesus Coffee and Cross Stitch, something like that. And, um, I watch her and, um, I got the idea from her. That, um, you know, there's some people out there that may, that may need some prayer. So, and I'm a born again believer and I believe in praying for people when they need prayer and prayer does work. I believe, I believe highly in prayer. Uh, so, um, if anybody has any prayer requests, leave them, you know, please comment down at the bottom and I'd be happy to pray for you. 
And um, again, we will talk at you soon. And you all have a wonderful and blessed rest of your week. We'll see you. Bye-bye.